Not only when it affects us, not only when it affects us, right? But what we have to do, brothers and sisters, in terms of engaging the society that we're living in, we have to represent and, and stand up and speak up about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. About the Prophet, about the Nabi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala selected and chose to be his Habib, to be his beloved. Uh, and I mentioned how this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the is the is the Lord of, of Muhabba of love. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa is the prophet of, of, of love. This deen, this deen is the, is the deen of love. This ummah. This Ummah is the Ummah of Muhabba of, of love. Right? This Ummah is the Ummah of Muhabba. So, this is what we have to present to this society, to the world. This is what we have to show, not only amongst ourselves, but to the outward, to the outer, to the outer world, to those who are on the outside. Show them the love in order to bring them inside, to bring them within. But it first starts with, of course, about Allah, but also about the Prophet Salah, then with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, talking about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, glorifying or in, um, reciting the, and speaking about and writing about and showing the character of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed a great bounty upon the believers. When he sent to them from their own selves a messenger. Reciting, to, reciting unto them his verses, or you said, key him and purifying them, or you add him a kitaba and teaching them the book, the Quran, or hikmah and the wisdom, which is his sunnah. This, 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 this word hikmah in this verse it means his sunnah, teaching them the book, the Quran, and his sunnah, wisdom. Because before, they were in manifest error. They were misguided. They were misguided. So we all know about this great ni'mah of Allah that He bestowed upon us to make us from this from the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah subhanahu wa taala selected the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when He separated the human being. Those of the right and those of the left. And from amongst those of the left, of the right, he selected the best of, of them to be his NBA. 124,000. And from and through his selection process, from those 124,000, he selected 313 to be his messengers. And he continued his selection process. Through the, from the 100, 313, he selected Five to be his rule, azam, to be those of firm resolve. And from those five, he selected two to be his khalilah and his, his two close friends, which was Ibrahim and, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa From those two close friends, khalilah, he selected one to be his habib, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is the great lama upon us, but many of us, we don't understand. Many of us who don't realize this great dilemma of the Prophet Muhammad to be from the from this ummah. So we must engage the society that we're living in to show them this great dilemma. Because the Prophet Allah was sent almost uh, over 1400 years ago. He is the he is the last prophet. There will come no other prophet after him. So this. 
here's, here's, here's the problem of, of the last Ummah. This Ummah is from, from, is from the time he was sent to the last person on this earth. He is the prophet of this last time period. Yes, he is the prophet of this last time period. Those who are those who believe and those who don't believe. Those who accept him, those who follow him, and those who don't follow him. Those who are atheists and those who aren't atheists. He is, he is their prophet. So it's up to us to engage them, to show them. And it's up to them to accept or not to accept. So we are responsible, brothers. We, those who say we, 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 we believe in Allah in the last day, and we, believe, we say that we are the followers of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and it's up to us to engage this society, to show them this, to present to them this great gift through our words, through our actions, through, through our teachings, through our example. This is how Islam spread across the world. This is how Islam went to, went to Indonesia and Malaysia, spread across Africa, without the soil. So all over the world, Islam spread because of the actions of those who, who went to, the, to those lands, because of the behavior. How can we be like you? They asked, they asked those Muslims who came, for example, we went to Indonesia from, 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 from Yemen. How can we be like you? Kulu la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Just say la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Because of their because of their example, because of how they did business, many of them, how they treated the people, how they treated the people that they whose lands they went to, and many of you came to this land. It is up to you to show them the good character of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the good, the good example of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So, my brothers and sisters, <clears throat> Omar radiallahu anhu, he said that when Adam alayhi salam he made the mistake of eating from the tree. He said, Oh Allah, oh my Rabb, as'aluka bi haqqi Muhammad, I ask you by the right of Muhammad to forgive me. Then Allah, call Allah Ta'ala, Ya Adam, kif arafta Muhammadah? Oh Adam, how did, you, how did you know about Muhammad? Sallallahu Islam. How do you know about how did you know about Muhammad? Well, let me who, and I have not created him yet. God, he said, Adam Alaihissalam said, when you created me, when you created me, and you blew in me of that soul that you, you made speci specifically for me. When I fought to Rasi, I raised my head. What I in the arch, and I saw on the pillars of the of the arch of your throne, Maktuba, written. La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasul. I saw written on the on the throne, on the pillars of the throne. La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah. But I don't know why you don't know why you don't know why you don't know why you don't know and I knew that you were not attached to your name except the most beloved creation to you. But call Allah Ta'ala, then Allah said, Sadaqta Ya Adam, you spoke the truth, you are truthful, Ya Adam. He is the most beloved creation to me. It's the farthest who left. When you asked me by his right, I had already forgiven you. Lola Muhammad Mahlaktu. If Muhammad didn't exist, I would have never created you. Ya Adam. Rawahu be happy. Imam be happy. Just really the man. Imam be happy. In another hadith, it says, 
روي أن عود الشيء كتبه كتبه القلم at the first thing that the pen this is the first uh, they said this was the first creation Allah said he created the pen and then Allah said أكتب he told the pen to write وبدأ وبدأ أن يكتب القادرة كل شيء and it began to write the decree of everything that will happen from, 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 the, from the beginning of time to the end of time. In the law al mahfuz in the second tablet. So the first thing it says, Bismillah rahman rahim the pen began to write. It says, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Inni and Allah, verily I am Allah. La ilaha illa ana. There is no God but me, Muhammad Rasuli, and Muhammad is my messenger. Whoever uh, submits to my qada, to my will, to my decree, and, and his patience is patient upon my, my test, my punishment. Yes, sabr al As we know, many of the Muslims in the world are being are being tested, are going through so many difficulties. But Allah is telling us to be patient, to persevere, do not lose faith, to be patient. Can I call on the peace of Allah? To the family of Al Yasser, <laughs> to be patient, but in the Jannah, to be patient, but verily, uh, your place, but in the Qum, at Jannah is, is Jannah. Don't be patient, persevere. This is what the Prophet told them when they will be when, 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 when they will be tested. And give thanks to my to my uh, to my gifts, to my bounties. Already be helped me and is pleased with my decree with my decision. And pleased with my decision. We accept a lot, accept a lot of decision. Many of us will go through difficulties. And we say, why? Why me? Why did this happen to me? And we, we, some of us become angry with Allah, subhanahu wa upset with Allah, some of us. Why is this going through? Why is this stuff going? Why am I going through this? You must understand that when Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, tests his servants, his believers, he is trying to bring you close. They said, be ba'in, not, not, not to make you far away from him, to bring you close. You call him, you call him, you call to bring you close to, to him, not to push you away. This is what Allah tests his servants. And he will not give you a test more than you can bear. But we must understand that when he tests his servants, he is trying to give you strength, to, to strengthen your inner core, strengthen your iman, strengthen your, 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 your connection to him. Not, not to, not to uh, push you far away, but to, to make you hold on stronger and tighter to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa tasimu bi hafillahi jami'a wa ladin farrahu. Wa tasimu. To hold on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if we are pleased with his hukum, with his decision, he says, Kitabtuhu Siddiqan, he'll be written as a Siddiq. A truthful and a truthful person. <laughs> and I will raise him on the day on the day of judgment. With those who are also truthful. You'll be raised on the day of judgment. You'll be raised on the day of judgment. Allah says, Noon. Allah says, Noon. Well, Allah, he swears by this pen. 
at Penn he first created, I wrote the decree of everything. Well, now yes to room and what they write, what they inscribe, the, the malaika, the angels. The angels. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse, he says, for man yes to room. What did they inscribe? What were they writing? They were writing, brothers and sisters, about the the uh, the character of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The character of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He says, "By the pen, what is what is it that they write?" They write about the character of Muhammad. So when Allah told them, up to Kalu, Kala, Makatu. When Allah says to write, they say, What should I write? Mada Atu. This is what the primordial pen asked. What should I write? Write about Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Right about Muhammad. So in this verse to continue, I was sent to perfect the best of characters, the Prophet Allah was saying in the hadith. So in this verse, this is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent this verse to tell us about his character. He says, Verily, you are of great character. This is Allah is telling us about the, the character of the Prophet Sallallahu He said about himself, he was sent to perfect the best of characters that Allah said about him. brothers. This is the Nabi, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Aqulli khulli hada, astaghfirullah li wa lakum. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I talked before about the angel Malik. When Allah, when, when Allah, the Jibreel Islam took the Prophet Allah on, on his night journey, and one of the places he went to, he went to to, to, para, to paradise. He went through the seven heavens, and he also went, he took him to the hellfire. And he saw, he met in the hellfire the angel Malik. The angel Malik, his name was Malik. He is the guardian of the, the hellfire. And the Prophet said about Malik, yeah, 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 Jibril. Why he never smiles? Why he never smiles? You call with him, he scares me. And he said, because his, his job is to punish those in the hellfire. So this is why he never smiles. But those who disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those who didn't follow the prophets of Allah were they Islam. So Allah says about the hellfire alayha tis atta ashur. Govern, governing the hellfire are 19 angels. 19 angels. Six of them will drive you to the hellfire. Six who will drag you into the hell. Six who will imprison you. And the, and the 19 is Malik. He is responsible for the 18. He is, he is responsible for those 18. 
And um, it says in, the, in another verse, in that Mac, he told, barely, you, are, you will never get out of it. You will never, you will not get out of it. You will not get out of it. Those who, those who have uh, faith in Allah, belief in Allah, but the actions, there are some certain actions Allah will not forgive. They'll be punished for. They'll be sent to the hellfire, but eventually, because of their belief, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, correct belief in Allah, they will not stay eternity in the hellfire. But those who don't believe at all, those who don't believe in Allah will stay for eternity in the hellfire. So this angel Malik, it says his hands are more than the entire inmates of the hellfire. His hands are more than the entire inmates of the hellfire. His feet are more than the entire inmates of the hellfire, his feet. Why? He has so many hands, so many feet. It says so that he can punish every criminal simultaneously at the same time. No one is getting away. Nobody will get away. His hands far reaching. You're not going to run. You're not going to get away. His feet are more than the feet than the dwellers of the hellfire. His hands are more than the dwellers of the hellfire. He takes people and as he goes to cast them into the hellfire, brothers and sisters, they begin, they begin to scream, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. They begin to scream, La ilaha illallah. When he, when he goes to, when he snatches them, right? And he goes to cast them to the hellfire. They all begin to scream, La ilaha illallah. Then Jibreel alayhi salam says to, to Malik, How could you cast people into the hellfire who say, La ilaha illallah? They say, La ilaha illallah. How can you cast them to the hellfire? Then Jibreel will say, Amarani rabbi, because my Lord commanded me. My Lord 